yeah hello yeah welcome to another beautiful video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create um the opt-in form from loom suit so that you can take it to your your website and go and use it on your website so that if anybody puts in their email and their name will be able to have their credentials or their details in loom suit but the first thing you need to do before you create the opt-in form is to create group because your contacts are going to be in groups so let's assume uh, people you want to sell car for people you want to sell uh, um, plantains to people you want to sell computer to people you want to sell tv to you will not want to group all you don't want all of them to be in the same group so you want to separate them so that is exactly what we are going to do first before we go ahead and create the opt-in form so you just scroll down from from the dashboard you just scroll down and you click subscriber manager so when you get to the subscriber manager this is the contact group click on the action button under the contact group then you create a new group just give it a name and let me see cars cars sales car sales let's say car sales so then i'll save so we have been able to create a group we have been able to create the sequence message we are going to send to anybody that uh, that uh, submit their details because the sequence message is what i show you in the last video that i that we created so after this then you go back to the subscriber manager after creating the group you will see Group must be there after creating a group. Then you go to the opt-in email opt-in. You just click the action button under it. Then you create. In your own case, you can see the, those ones have been able to create. But your own case is going to be blank. When you then you come here and click create opt-in form. Then you give your form a name. Car sales form. That is the name I gave. It. Uh, I'm giving this form. So you come here and you you select the group you just created or the group you want to use. This is car sales. Then you select the sequence message at which you want to go out to those people that uh, that uh, opt in. Buy cars in US whatever sequence message. So then from display type then. What, how do you want your opt-in page to display? You want it to be fixed. Keep uh, you 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 select fixed so that it will. If you select um, any other thing, it's not going to. If you select pop up, it's going to be pop up. If you select redirect, it's going to redirect people. But in this case, just let me show you how to do it. How to fix it? So just fix. So then set success set success message. You can set success messages and tell them thanks for your opt-in we will do this or whatever whatever but in this case i want to redirect anybody that uh, opt-in to another website or another url so this is the url i'm redirecting to then you come down and create your form so this has been pre-created you can delete this you can delete this then you can start uh, um, you can start editing this this is first name and this you can edit this and say enter your first name you can do away with this I don't like putting this you can just put first name it depends on you anyway so that that enter your first name will be gone last name you do the same thing I want to take away this last name and I will just put last name here. Then the email, I will do the same thing. I will take away this email. And I will just leave enter your email. I can add heading. You can see like this. I can add heading to this. So I will edit it and say, I. buy cars G 
cheap from USA. This this topic depends on you, and you might not put it. You might put it, and you might not put it. It depends on you. So I want to let this uh, the 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 header. I want it to be small, so I'm going to use this. You can select any of these. So I'm going to use H4, so it will be it will look more nice and small. You can see when I change to H4. Then let me change to H1. Then you will see the difference. Let me change to H1. If I change to H1. You can see how big it is, but I don't like the H1, so I prefer using H4. Then I will take you here. Then again, you can collect phone number. You can collect phone number if you like. If you click this required, it means if the person does not fill this very form, the they will not be able to submit. But if you leave it like this, it means it's not required. They will be able to submit without filling it phone number just leave it like this just like my like this you can include a paragraph and you can include this you can include agreement and whatever so let's edit this also to submit let me see label this is label i don't like the label to be there and i want to put this like send now or submit or anything you want to put there why is it not showing well, let me say let me in it should be anything I don't know why it's not showing let me put it here. Okay, this is the name. Take. Let me take out this. Sorry. Let me in. You can see. Let me in. Instead of um, sorry. Instead of doing uh, putting it here, I'm putting it in. So, so you can see it now. Let me in. Let me in. Then the person will be redirected to this place after it. you can say submit for anything you want to say uh, send it now send now maybe you promise to send them send now or anything you want to put there you just put it there then after you finish you click save you save the form success your form has been saved successfully it will take you to the list of the form then this is your form pop up is zero this is the group car sales then you click here view form then you copy the code i've copied the code you can see if i click here now it will say copy copy i've copied the code then you go to your website at which you are designing your opt-in page i'm using this is where I'm designing my own opt-in page. I'm using Elementor to design my opt-in page. Then I just uh, I'm, I'm, I just use this page as a demonstration. So you are going to design your own page. Then I want to put the code. Let me put the code inside. Yeah. So this are the. It depends on you. Anything you you can you you do it anyhow you like, but. What, what you need to do is to HTML, you bring the HTML, uh, this thing here, and you drop the code here. You drop the code here, then you click save. This is your, this, you can see this is your form. Let me make my form more bigger. Let me make this place 33 or 25. And let me make this place 25 also so my form will be more bigger then I'll click save you can see the person will put his first name so let me check the page this is the page let me just refresh so let me scroll down you can see my form you can see my form I want you to see this beneath this let me go and put space here 
so that you'll be able to see the space I want to put the space outside this this the space the space is 70 If anybody uh, put in their this thing here, let's try it. This is KB. Let me say hola and phone number. This is this is this is this is this and email address. Let me say KB and then send now. Is uh, you know we set redirect. It's going to redirect me to sendaction.com. So it's redirecting me already, and you can see it has redirected me to sendaction.com. So let's go back and see if actually we are having um, that list there. So let's go to subscriber manager and let's go to contact book. Then let's check. Um, what is the contact? Uh, car sales. You can see it now. You can see the number I put. So here is it. So this is how you create your opt-in form. Thank you and God bless.